All right, so I'm out here taking a look at a recently replaced condenser fan motor. And this is a uh, universal replacement. You can tell that because you see these orange and yellow leads. These uh, allow the, the condensing fan to be switched from clockwise to counterclockwise. This is probably not a great idea to uh, have them hanging out of the top of the condenser fan cage here. Uh, if there's any kids, these are easily unplugged and there's this is a 220 volt motor. It's not a wise idea to do that. And you can see this is a fairly new motor. I think it was replaced a few months ago according to the homeowner. Now there's something I want you to listen to. I'm going to turn it on and let you listen. Then I'm going to tell you what's going on, why it's happening, and how you can prevent this in the future. All right, so you can hear how terrible that motor sounds. And the reason that it sounds so terrible is that there are condensation drain plugs on the bottom of these motors. And we have to wait for that fan blade to stop spinning, and then we'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so there's a black rubber plug right here. There's another black rubber plug on the opposite side, and this allows condensation and moisture to drain out of the body of the of the motor. Now that one's been now removed, and they should be removed when they're installed. And this will prevent moisture from collecting inside the housing and then ruining the bearings on the condenser fan motor. Now if this motor is mounted in the opposite position on the other end down here, there's two more plugs so you always want to do it on the uh, bottom housing of the motor. So that is one thing that if you don't read the directions or nobody tells you about and you do a retrofit on a condenser fan motor, forget the plugs, you'll be back out in a couple months. So don't make that mistake.